Okay, we're back with Jumpstart Third Grade. Let's go. Look, we're at the shrink o -matic again. So, do you want to know about something? Oh, my. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I hid a mission clue in one of the specimens. Still, you'll never find it unless you can figure out this hint. I've got my eye on you, Egbert. In fact, I've got both my eyes on you. I wish I had a choice, but my eyes can't move independently of one another. This specimen can move its eyes in different directions at the same time. Ooh. For a scientist, the ability to observe more than one thing at a time would be a dream come true. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Although that would be kind of creepy, wouldn't it? have eyelids to protect and clean the eye. The gecko is a foot-long climbing lizard that... The stink bug is an insect in the shape of a shield. When a stink bug is disturbed, it emits a foul odor. That's how it gets its name. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Caterpillar. Caterpillars are hairy and worm-like. They shed their skin four times. And that's when the big change occurs. The caterpillar grows up to become a butterfly or moth. Chameleon. A chameleon is a small lizard. It can change the color of its skin to match its surroundings. It can also keep an eye on two places at the same time because a chameleon can move its eyes in two different directions. Uh, I think we found it. the right specimen? If so, just click on the microscope on the floor. Happy trails! Later! Uh-oh. Do I have to guess here? Back here again. Besides a slight headache, I'm feeling okay. I won't last more than ten rounds in here, so you have to work quick. Click on the mouse to launch me. I feel dizzy! Hmm, I wonder if I should record this. Because, you know, I usually, uh, pause the video and then, uh, come back when I get to the orange mo molecule thing. Or whatever it is. <laughs> it's probably of Polly's own diabolical creation or something. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. She is that smart. More than she lets... I'm guessing she's smarter than she lets on, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess being the daughter of a scientific genius has its perks. Even though she can be a bit bratty about it, <laughs> as we have seen. Come on, Botley. Do your stuff. Yeah, I'll pause the video and I'll come right back. Yeah. We got it. That's it. Take the clue and put it in your inventory. Then, on to complete this mission. A cram. Interesting. How about playing a game on the third floor to win some more invention points? Ah, oh, yes, we have to. All right, we got all the mission keys. <sighs> now all we need is enough invention points. We need one thousand total. We're gonna have to play some of the games on this floor to win some more points. Let's check out the observatory. Actually, yeah, let's go there for once and see what's up. <clears throat> well, since there's no mission clue to be found here, we could always try to track down the missing spaceship to see if maybe Polly launched some invention points. Oh, yeah. I hope you and your buddy enjoyed the void because that's where you're headed. I think you know what to do. Click on the telescope and we'll get started. 
Transmission and our hint. We better act fast before it's sucked into the black hole. Polly's transmission is four radio packets big. Make sure you collect them all, or we will be able to decode her hint. Fresh from the brink of the black hole. Get ready to use the decoder. I can't make hide nor hair of this message. Hopefully the decoder can help sort it out for us. Great! You decoded one of the sentences. Not done yet. There's more to figure out. I think I know which constellation okay. this one's Here's talking about. It's gotta be Leo. Yeah, that's the only constellation I can think of. This thing is describing. Stars that are three times bigger than our sun die a strange death. At the end of their lives, they collapse into themselves. The force of gravity becomes so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. We call such stars black holes. Oh yes, how scary. Okay. Where is it? Here it is. Leo the Lion is the fifth constellation in the zodiac. Leo doesn't really look like a lion, though. Some people think he looks like a backwards question mark. In Greek mythology, Leo was a monstrous beast who came down to Earth as a shooting star. Leo then began eating every person and animal in sight before Hercules destroyed it. <laughs> Way to go! You picked the right constellation, and now the ship is heading back here. Oy. We made it! All right, put those invention points into the inventory. I hope you're ready for more adventure, because we're ready to get into the time machine. About time. That gave us 500 ex extra points. Might need that later. <laughs> All right, things are going well. We're back at mission control. But before we do anything else. Yeah, yeah, we know. Show where you help save the world. In this 
this episode, you'll win a chance to rescue Perot the robot clown. Your first clue is stained glass. The stained glass will shine light on what this mission is about. The beauty of a stained glass window is created not by the colored glass, but by light passing through the glass. Which other kind of art is most similar to stained glass? You are correct! Both mosaics and stained glass windows use little patches of color to create beautiful patterns and images. Mosaics are usually made with small pieces of tile instead of colored glass. They can be found on floors and walls. Mosaics in stained glass windows are what? Nice work! Here's the difference between two-dimensional things and three-dimensional things. An apple sitting in your hand is three-dimensional. A picture of an apple on your computer screen is two-dimensional because it is flat. <laughs> what other art form is two-dimensional? You get the picture. <laughs> Paintings are usually done on canvases, walls, or ceilings. But as long as it's flat, you can paint a picture on it. And painting is what this mission is all about. Huh. So it seems Polly sent Piero Bot back to the time in history when the painting was first invented. Let's move on. The second clue is a diamond. This diamond will show you where your mission will take you. Diamonds are the hardest thing in nature which is one reason why they make good engagement rings. They represent the strong bond of love. Uh, <laughs> what are diamonds? Brilliant! People used to think there was magic lurking in the sparkle of gemstones. Which of the following is most closely related to a sparkling gem? Fantabulous! Gems and diamonds are types of rocks that are formed in the earth over a long period of time. Rocks were first used as tools by which humans? You know, I think there was a magic school bus on episode on the rock cycle, right? Is that right? Or am I just confusing it with school studies? I don't know. <laughs> That's a solid answer. Stone Age humans were the first to use rocks as tools. They also discovered fire. And in the time they had left, they invented the fine art of painting. Great. Now we know that Stone Age humans invented painting. Hold on, Piero Bot. We're a coming. Oh, my. Your third clue is a television. The television will tell you where painting was invented. The first person ever to appear on television was a 15-year-old office boy named Bill. He made only 18 cents for his historical appearance. Television changed history because it brought history into people's homes. Which historical event was not shown on television? Jolly good. The Boston Tea Party occurred in 1773, way before television was invented. The Boston Tea Party helped fuel the flames that started which American war? Excellent. The Revolutionary War was fought between Britain and her 13 American colonies from 1775 to 1783. In the Revolutionary War, the 13 American colonies won their independence from Britain. Where is Britain? That's right! Europe has been occupied by humans for tens of thousands of years. On the walls of caves.
caves in France and Spain, we have found the earliest examples of paintings. So the earliest paintings have been found in caves in Europe. But when were they painted? Keep going. You're doing great. Cool. Your fourth clue is a crayon. The crayon will tell you when in history painting was invented. Crayons are not just for kids, you know. Some of the world's greatest artists, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo da Vinci, used crayons to create works of lasting beauty. What color is a red crayon in the dark? He wasn't talking about the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> just so you know. It's true. In the dark, the red crayon looks black because we can't see color when there's not much light. Which of the following is always black? That's right. Charcoal is made from burned animal or vegetable material. Many artists like to sketch with charcoal. If you burn a stick until it's black, you've pretty much created charcoal. When did people first begin to draw with charcoal? You got it! People began to draw with burnt sticks as far back as 35,000 BC. At the same time, they began using pigments from berries and rocks to paint pictures of animals on the walls of caves. Cool. Our mission is about to draw to a close. Piero Bot was sent all the way back to 35,000 BC. I can't wait to see what Stone Age humans painted. I wonder if they wore smocks. Hey, is anyone enjoying Far Cry Primal right now? Ugh. 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 